Hello, it's seven equal, it's seven equal. Abira, me, keke, babi, jeme. Wapa, van, wapota, wapi, vene, reha, ibo, doni. Menogo, vi, wage, ino, saduk, ezeka. Ne, mani, pumbe, ye, doktor, okuname. Today, I want to talk about soul relations, series four. And today's topic is extension of intimacy within the soul family. For those of you who have been following the teachings already, we know now already that you are not just a human being, you are a spirit. And your spirit is inside your blood. And you are not just a spirit, you are a soul. So automatically, spirit and body, we are pushed aside now, you have soul. And also, you are not just a single soul, you have a soul family. Yes, today we are still stopping you a soul family, although it's still deeper than that, because then you have soul tribe, then you have varieties of souls, and then many, many more. The higher you go, the more expand it becomes but uh, today what is important is this will be the last uh, teaching this will be the last teaching for now about soul relations yes that is how my spirit lead me this will be the last teachings for now about soul relations but uh, time to time, I may be coming out, making some videos, talking about different, different, uh, rad random topic. But uh, this uh, soul series we are doing today is the final, uh, is the final lecture. Let me say it like that: it's the final lecture of our soul relations. Yeah, and today topic of our soul relation series 4 is extension of the intimacy with our soul family because now we have met our soul family now we know already some tips how they contact to us how we can relate to them how we can flow with them <laughs> how we can flow with them and share things with them a bed was jumping on my beat. <laughs> that was nice. Now we can uh, flow to them and everything. So today we are going to elaborate a little more about this intimacy, pain libation, and a special, a special rapporto. I like the Italian word for it, rapporto. Like a special relationship a special communication yeah yeah German word is also good on it but I love it I love the Italian word for it so today we will talk a little about that and after today the soul series end it then when you have more interest in knowing more and more and more about your soul, your soul journey, your soul relation, your soul history, things you have done in your past life and everything, then you will come to us. Now we have a priesthood. So you will come and register and be a part of our priesthood. And then we will lecture you. Because the fact is our people don't appreciate knowledge if it's just coming to them like that. Yes. So, uh, we are going to be keeping it only for the students who is interested in the knowledge. Because when it just come like that, you people don't really pay attention. You are, you are too used to negativity. You like problems, you like fights, saga. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I understand. I understand because when you are fully brought up in the absence of positivity, the only thing that attracts you in life becomes negative. You know, flink you to go greet her, but if you hear a person die, you go greet her. 
Those are like one example. They don't be your fault. Now the way you take grow, don't be that what I want to talk about now. So, talking about the extension of our intimacy with our soul family. How do you increase the the how do you extend the intimacy? How do you continue building that relationship? Because like I talked already in series three, this is just the same like you meet a woman. As a man, of course, meet a woman. <laughs> a woman meets men. Although some men meet men also. <laughs> yeah, but this is just like uh, the same way a man meets a woman. I mean, educated people, not just people who don't understand anything about relationship. Educated people. So you need time to spend time together, share stories of each other, share memories of things, events you have part, you have done before with each other, share uh, uh, ideas, share likes, share uh, things with each other, which oh this is cool share things with each other which you which you people feel it's so precious to you and it's so adorable to you so you always feel like oh it's so grateful to know you this is who i am and this is all i like and this is the kind of person i am please tell me about you I am curious to know you. And then the other one will start explaining what he likes, things he do, his experience with past relationship or friends and family or whatever. Then, during that process, what is going on between both of you? During that process, you are building intimacy. You are connecting within yourself. You are sharing your experience, sharing your energy, and, and like folding it together, wrapping it together, bringing it together, uniting it together to become one. When the, the moment it becomes one, that is when you and that person now can hold each other hands and say, we are in love. We are building life together. We are creating everything together. We want this. We dream of this. We want to achieve this. You start making journeys and many, many more, 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 more together. Even to the point of making babies. <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah. So that is exactly how it also is with your soul family. Recognizing them, paying attention to them, and then the relationship starts. How does the relationship start? First, you have to first take away everything you think you know in your head. Everything you think you know in your head about uh, spirit or spirituality or, or what they represent. You have to take away all those things. And first, you have to take away all those things from your head. And then... You can have like a free open mind because the biggest problem many of you are having that limits you to connect with your higher self or with your ancestors is because all your mind has been filled with too much negativity. All your mind has been filled with too much toxic thinking, toxic ideas. And these things is what a <laughs> car came into my phone again. So as I was saying, all your mind has been full with toxic ideas, too much negativities. And this now, you know what this has created now? This now automatically have created the energy of fear inside of you. And this energy of fear right now has created a kind of a shield around you. A shield around you that have totally seal your eyes. Though you don't see with just these two eyes. But yeah. You have totally sealed your eyes. Why? Because especially those of you who are into religion and all those things. Because in your mind, you have 
downloaded information about demons, winches, wizard, all those all those things which many don't even exist. <laughs> But you have downloaded those things in you, and that fear now creates an atmosphere around you. So even when your ancestors is coming to just hug you or give you just a peck, and you are permitted to see them, maybe through dreams or through trance or through meditation, you are permitted to see them. Many of you run away. Many of you will even jump up from your dream, from your dream or your sleep or whatever, and say, hey, "Jesus." Because why? You 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 are scared that somebody come. Maybe some have many hands even. <laughs> you are scared that somebody come. <laughs> and the person does not look beautiful, white with blonde hair and white wings. So you think, ah, who is this? And <laughs> you run from it. Oh, you run from it. So many of you are running from it because every day they want to reach out to you. But many of you are running from them because of lack of knowledge and understanding. So as long as you keep feeding your mind with all this negativity, as long as you keep feeding your mind with all these ideas that have no contribution for your spiritual growth, then you will always be limited. That's why they don't even show you some things because you may just run mad. Yeah, you're not going to understand. You, you feel all crazy. <laughs> so they, they love you. So they just keep distance, but they are still watching after you anyway. So many of them will just wait. When you are asleep, they come, they call your soul, they travel with your soul and discuss with your soul and everything. Later, your soul will come back to you. You wake up. Yeah, that's just what is going on with many of you. But what is really happening here is automatically you have created that shield with your fear, and that your shield now has distract, as this, uh, as uh, as create a distance between you and them. So automatically now you have no connection with them at all. And the biggest loose guard here is the God or whatever you think that oh, it's my own, no, I hold on to you know, you don't even have connection with that one. So you are just left alone in a desert. That's your reality. You may not like it, but that's it. Ezekiel always bam, tell you the truth how it is. Yeah, if you don't like it, you don't just have to listen to what I'm saying. Because like I always say, I don't talk to everybody. And I don't want to make sense to everybody. Yes. So what, what we are talking and focusing a lot on today is releasing the tensions, releasing the falsehood idea that has created that shield of fear between you and your truth, between you and your reality. Between you and your real self. So, this the demolishing that wall will help you have a visa free. <laughs> we help you have a free passage. And a free direct connection. And your mind will blow everything. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Your mind will blow when you know things will be said, they, they know when they want to show you. Things will be said, you yourself know when you don't remember, say you know. Powers will be said, you they possess when you don't know how to assess. Your mind will blow. If only you feel just jump out. Simple, just like that. You move first your first leg because of fear, and then you move the second leg. Just come out from it. And how do you do that? Surrender. Surrender. I surrender to you. You have to surrender, but not to anyone, to yourself. Surrender to that which is inside of you. Surrender to that which is inside of you that is fighting so hard 
to come out and you are fighting so hard to keep it down that's why many of you feel depressed that's why many of you are not happy with life that's why many of you feel like ah because why the truth is we are all here for different mission mm, we are all here for different mission uh, your, your 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 senior brother if he get estate you feel not get one block it don't mean anything you are here for something far different so when you limit yourself for the when you limit yourself among that a generalization picture where the society don't create my brother you are just the suffer the suffer you know not the reason why you the suffer in fact you can't even think say now make Many pastors and many in the tea dot or the chop in our way. Because uh, the world now take care of herself. We expose ourselves. Be like, woman, where you pull legs, say, I beg go, who want to enter me, can enter. So, <laughs> dogs even feel wrong enter you. Exactly. Now, so it be. So, knowing yourself, having knowledge of yourself, give you confidence. And for you to really get those access and permission, you need to surrender to yourself. You need to accept yourself. You need to accept your limit. You need to stop the tension. Even if now your mama or your papa, anybody with that around you, they give you tension. Advise them. Tell them they stop the tension. If they don't stop, keep yourself a little bit distance from them. Because when it comes to spirituality, you are standing on your own. Now you'll be the fat. Now make uh, Christians that they tell many of them say on that day, uh, Papa no day, Mama no day, now only you will stand if they won't judge you. Lyrically, what they are trying to teach you is that it is all about you first. Without you, this life not they exist. So you must preserve yourself. Embrace yourself, love yourself, accept yourself, recognize your limitation. Stop fighting what you don't know and have no idea of. Because that moment whereby you surrender, because many of them are not getting cold. Surrendering is not a sign of weakness. You have to know this very well. You surrender does not mean you are weak, you are not strong to fight. No, 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 no. Surrender can also be interpreted as a very good strategic knowledge. Because not be all battle you win with sword or bloodshed. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. The, those times don't pass. They don't do all those things pass. Now, in the time of oneness. Now, now the time of paying attention. All those voices where you they hear for your head. Now is the time you filter all of them. Then you can't recognize your real, <laughs> your real voice where they there. So as you recognize that real voice, you hold on. As you hold on, you can't start to communicate with them. You will talk, you go answer. You will talk, you go answer. Now there you come and say, all oh, those many, 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 many voices where you are the years. All those ones are just, they distract you. The, your real self, your real voice where they talk to you there. If they suffer, you talk. And if you talk, they talk, you go, eh. And you know they always talk. You know they do talk. So the rest noise where they hear, brr, 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 you need to stop those noises. And the only way to stop those noises is not to, like I teach you the last time, Breathe. Breathe. Try to be in charge of the energy around you. Try to carry it and settle it down. Drink lot of water. I don't know the power of water. Drink, <laughs> drink lot of water. And try to calm down all those tensions. So when all those tensions, they calm and relax, then you're they fully aware of your presence. So the moment you're they fully aware for your, of your presence, automatically you're they feel the sense of oneness. You're they feel the sense of awareness. You're they feel the sense of connection 
with everything around you. Exactly. That is the point they want. That is the point they love. That is the point where they will come to you. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That is the point you will start having your intimacy with them. Then you will start rebuilding your relationship. Then they will start having a strong intimacy with you. They will take you home again, welcome you home again, introduce you to everything again, and then you will now be having more deeper and deeper knowledge of who you are, you will not be understanding fully well of everything around you, the situation around you, everybody around you. Then you will start understanding automatically. You will not be caught up with the tensions anymore. Because why at this time, you know, the express lane, express lane where people day again. You don't understand better. You they see are different. You they know I'm better. You they get the picture in a more better and a more sweet and nice way but in the situation whereby all your mind just they full of uh <laughs> in the situation whereby all your mind just they full of uh bad bad things negativity reporting ah, you they give yourself stress now make that they call many of them are winch normally nothing like winch but I don't want to talk good as that. But many of you now today, you want to be like a winch because why? All your life, everything you know is negativity. That has poisoned your soul and transformed your soul into a dark soul. So only negativity attracts you. So now, now your nose self, they smell anywhere bad thing want for happen. Anywhere good thing for the happen go irritate you. Now all the bad, bad things they, they, they attract you. If you can see person with better things they happen for, you the verse. And as you the verse now, automatically you go activate that your spirit to the side of you. You can't go to worry that person. You can't go to worry that person. Many of you are they ignorant. Many of you are where they worry people. So, you are they ignorant because why? Uh, it be like a pool like this. This side now positivity. This side now negativity. So, if your energy, if if you put more energy the negative side, so you just there like this. If you put more energy in the positive side, then you can't there like this. You're then more positive, which is upright. So if you now put too much energy any of the you did balance is still good, then you did balance. I just try to use <laughs> my hand to make small example for now. But well, what I'm trying to say now is releasing those thoughts and pictures in your mind, releasing those images in your mind, releasing those false concepts in your mind. Releasing all those ideas in your mind, all those different, different pictures, all those uh, Nigeria drama where they point you now, all those things. If you release all those images for your mind and surrender, know that you have nothing to lose. Know that you have nothing to lose. Surrender and hug yourself. Forgive yourself. Accept yourself for what is able to do. Because you know if you do such so, so thing, you just hate yourself. No, accept yourself. Surrender. Our queen of women, which is uh, our coordinator of who governing cow in the uh, USA, she talked about a topic like this, I think, a few weeks ago. Acceptance. Appreciation. Uh, but maybe many of you did not really get it. But what she was saying was just the truth. But she was trying to expose many of you to the full awareness of the beauty of accepting what you are. To the beauty of accepting what you are. And I so much appreciate our teaching. And uh, I am also very happy and, and uh, I'm very, very happy that this is our Wugame Nikau. Wugame Nikau is not just like uh, uh, we are not worshipping ancestors because you don't worship ancestors. What we do is we give them regard, we create awareness of them. 
and follow their spiritual orientation we don't guide and protect them and keep them in this earth for more than two million years mm. so uh, all religion we do on earth today none of them is more than seven thousand years old mm. the only one with them more than seven thousand years is hindu hindu is the oldest religion now on earth but even Hindu itself is not up to 10,000 years old. But our spirituality, spiritualism has been existing for more than millions of years. Right from the first time any sense of life come into existence on earth. So when we tell you about Ogugane Nikao, lyrically what we are trying to tell you is connecting back to the ancestral spiritual roots to the ancestral spiritual orientation to the ancestral spiritual philosophy and not just talking there because hey they need car well no 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 we are rebranding it that's why we come back here on earth normally we're not supposed to be here with tonight again <laughs> Hello, sir. yeah that's a fact anyway but uh, we are <laughs> we are rebranding it and reintroducing it to you so that's why uh, outside our in Ogugamini Karo which we are putting together we are also we have also now a priesthood institution so if you are interested in studying more about yourself knowing more about your soul knowing more about who you are knowing 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 knowing, knowing more about the mysteries around you then the best way for you, the best place for you, is for you to come and sign up for our spiritual institution. It's a priesthood. It's a priesthood because we are priests in nature. We are spiritual beings in nature. So when you neglect spiritualism, automatically you have pronounced a war against yourself. And you can never be happy. Regardless how much you succeed to save in your bank, regardless how many houses you succeed to build, regardless how many children you succeed to give birth to, that deeper sense of happiness from your stomach, it can never be there. Not because when somebody is uh, doing sham or anything against you or prayers against you, no, 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 no. It's because you have waged war against yourself and you have allowed yourself to be trapped in this so-called reality called life but because what you carry inside of you is deeper than that you cannot be trapped so try to let go of your fear try to let go of those things that makes you set like a limit within yourself so when you are doing all that automatically you are creating a space for the unknown to manifest automatically you are creating a space for for you to be able to hug yourself you are letting that seed inside that dark soil grow into life also called life light and life they are symbols so that is really the message today i will not be doing it too long because today is the conclusion of uh, our soul relation i decide to end it here in series four based on the guidance of the ancestors so whoever that has more and more interest now we have a priesthood society you can come and join us it's not like a society so that you people don't say that hey, hey, hey society oh, no, no, no. this is a priesthood institution yes and we have different people now who are really supporting us we have different people now are really supporting us different people is really coming together for we to really structure this institution like the last time i talked anything you have you are welcome come but come with the positive energy inside not just say because say we say come now uh, you are come try yourself don't go there ogun is very active here mm, if you try yourself off your way 
so that's just the code if you have in more interest and more interest and need for you to really know more and more and more about yourself come to us come to us we will register you in our priesthood institution at presently now we are doing everything we can because why in the center of that Benin in the center of that Benin we want to plant that big tree there in the center of that Benin we will plant that huge tree there we will plant it there where all Benins can come and study about themselves and have certificate to prove that they have studied more about themselves those of now we are they old now who now feel not get interest no problem but we are going to make sure that all the next generation will have deeper orientation about themselves so those of now we uh, not the, uh, we still get interest you are still welcome that if you not get interest we not the bad person knowledge knowledge no they can't knock for your door now you look for them and you know the most beautiful thing umana go alo ariana who the baby re ariana the baby who the baby so 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 you must have it <laughs> you don't even have option that is the most uh, amazing part of it. you don't have option you must have it if you don't have it now you will come back again and suffer and suffer again to have it the same thing so if you know what is even good for you now it's time to seek for knowledge it's time to seek for more awareness of who you are no 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 release yourself from those tensions so we are going to separate all those things from you so that you will start seeing life you will start seeing life and feeling life and enjoying life when we say enjoying life because i know many of you have a picture of enjoyment not be all those dirty things be enjoyment enjoyment now the deep the 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 more the more deep when this your breath feel go uno why you so toto you keka na uno why thing you are so to take ko u do feel like you you are so to take ko so not until you have uh, you have learned how to breathe you cannot even enjoy life and they don't teach you in school how to breathe that's just one example so we have many things to teach you you have many things to teach you you have many many things to teach you things that you are ignoring day to day because you don't know we will teach you so i just want to conclude this uh, teaching uh, this lecture here that i love you all i send you all a lot of love and hug and please know that to really build the full intimacy with your uh, soul family is letting go of your fear and make yourself available for them they know what to do you just have to open the door for them they will come and the intimacy will start from there so i wish you all the best if you have interest in our soul relation and everything Feel free to contact this number. I thank you all. What Yahweh say, I wish you all a nice day. From the bottom of my heart and all of you that has been following this series of teaching, what Yahweh say. Obed Doga talk, Obed Doga talk, be he say, what Yahweh say, Usalo Banu Dazi, Oguwaro, Enikao, Udazi Nobo, Eyaguwaro, what Yahweh say, what Yahweh say, what Yahweh say. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.